Hello everyone, this is Fred right here, and today I have yet another Gravity Falls Exeter story. So, I know it's been a minute since I've done a Dipper Exeter story, and I know there is no real excuse for it, especially considering that the Dipper Exeter that I did, I think it was Come Back to Me, that had, um, blown up on my channel quite a bit. So I know I don't really have much of a good excuse as to why I stopped, but I do hope to continue it. Um, in fact, I have this story, which was requested to me by xx underscore xx ash. Um, and they had requested a Prince Dipper X Princess Reader. They basically just recommended a fantasy AU, and I'm like, okay, well, do you have any specific ideas of mine? They recommended, oh, well, maybe, um, where the reader and Dipper are royal, a uh, wo royalty. And they get set up in a ranged marriage. And I'm like, okay, that sounds like a good challenge. Because, don't get me wrong, arranged marriage fix can be really fun to read. But I didn't want to do the typical stereotype where it's like, person A and person B hate each other because they're in a ranged marriage. They start off marriage hating each other's guts, but then slowly fall in love with them and all that stuff. And I also didn't want to do one where one where person A is supposed to get married to person B, but person T comes and screws it up. Pardon me. So, I decided why not go ahead and make this a, like, one <laughs> where person A and person B actually get along. Kind of weird to say that. Like, that probably sounds very confusing out of context, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Um, huge shout out to XX underscore XX Ash because they really, it, it was so much fun to write this. I honestly don't really do AUs very often, so I think I had to start doing some research on different types of AU or alternate universe idea story ideas that could be very, very fun. So, yee. So this is Prince Dipper X Princess Reader, and the title is called Arranged Fate. Let's get started. Dipper fixed up his tie. To say he was to say he felt scared is part of the understatement of the decade. His uncle Stan had arranged him to be married to a princess named your name last name. She is from a rather rich kingdom, so Uncle Stan took the opportunity as king of his kingdom to have Dipper marry her. So now the two of them were going to meet. Dipper had insisted that he meet his fiancée before he married her. His main motive was to make sure that she was not some sort of monster. There were rumors of some strange creatures attempting to kidnap young girls. He suspected it to be a monster of some kind. But he was also curious to see what this princess was like. He just hoped she would be kind. When it came time for dinner, he was escorted to the dining hall. When Dipper reached the hall, he saw possibly the most gorgeous girl he had ever laid eyes upon. A part of him thought almost that she was too beautiful. When she met his eye, he felt heat, heat hit his face something fierce. The, the princess named your name then stood up from her seat and walked over to him along with her father, father name, walk, walking alongside her. Hello, I am Princess Your Name, and you are Prince Dipper, right? Yeah, that's me. Dipper showed with as much enthusiasm as he, as he could show. She smiled. She has such a cute smile, he thought to himself. The, they then took a seat next to each other and ate dinner. The two of them surprisingly got along very well. Dipper was just relieved that she was fun to talk to. They talked endlessly about their struggles of being part of royalty. I actually always had a dream to go on the forest and explore. I always liked the idea of nature. Really? He said excitedly. Yes. I always thought that the world was so full of life and beauty. Tis a shame that so many people have to destroy it just to build on top of it all. His smile faltered as she thought. Dipper frowned and looked around. The others all seemed to be too engrossed by their dinner conversations that they would likely not notice. Dipper then stood and clinked his glass. I'm going to take my princess on a... stroll. I want her to see the sights of the kingdom. Gunkelstan laughed. Look at him. They aren't even married and the sucker's spoiling her already. He laughed, but quickly stopped as the wind showed him a displeased look. He cleared his throat. Sorry. Go ahead, Dipper. Dipper then took her by the hand and led her out, past sachets and flower beds. They passed fountains and went off of the gravel path. He guided her to a small clearing through the forest and led her to a lake that shined glowing blue. You could see the bottom of the lake, and the flowers were blooming brighter than the stars. 
Your your name's face had a your name had a face of pure awe. She could barely she could hardly handle the beauty of this small lake that this small lake had to offer. She asked curiously, "Isn't this a part of your kingdom's property? Shouldn't it be destroyed for the tree's lumber and the flower's medicine?" "Nope," Dipper said, popping the pea. I had I had ordered that this section of the forest not be destroyed. It's honestly too great to be taken down. Wow, that's so considerate of you," she said, turning to face Dipper. She had a face of admiration and kindness. Dipper smiled, blushed, but smiled. He took baby steps closer to her. She didn't object. If anything, she did the same. They were so close they could hear each other's heartbeats and feel the f- light flushing, go- the light flushing, the light ghosting their face. Yonim closed her eyes and Dipper did the same. He slowly leaned in. But, of course, they were cut short. Suddenly, a small rock was thrown into Dipper's face, causing him to fall. Yonim was then suddenly picked up by some small creatures. She struggled and kicked and punched. Your name. Dipper shouted. The creatures dragged, dragging away appeared to be gnomes. Dipper quickly grabbed a large stick and ran after her. Your name was plopped down, and she looked up to see what she assumed to be the gnome leader. Is this weird? Is this too weird? You need to sit down? She didn't respond. I'm sorry about this, but we kind of needed to kidnap you. We need a new queen and whatnot. So, what the heck? Your name said, cutting him off. First you interrupt me, my fiance, while you're about to kiss, and then you kidnap me? Hey, a voice says, let go of my fiance. Dipper yelled, <laughs> uh, listen, I'm sorry about it, but this is all just a big misunderstanding. We want you to take your fiance as our queen. Not that bad, huh? No, you don't. I will be the one to marry her, and I will be the one to make her queen. So hands off. You don't know who you're messing with, boy. We gnomes can destroy you at the at the drop of our pointy hats. Dipper rolled his eyes and punched him. After a small battle with the gnomes, you and Dipper were victorious. You both then ran away from the gnomes. The leader, Jeff, yelled about some sort of evil revenge play, revenge hero plan. When the two of you, when the two of them got back to safety, the back to the safety of the kingdom's courtyard. They sat down on the ledge of a fountain. The pair caught their breaths. When they both finally calmed down from the adrenaline, Dipper awkwardly wrapped his arm around your name's shoulder. She smiled and laid her head laid her, laid her head on him. Thanks, Dipper. I owe you. He shrugged. Psh, nah, it's fine. No, really. Let me make it up to you. There is really no need. I just... She cut him off by giving him a kiss on the lips. He stiffened up before relaxing. He slowly placed his hands on her waist, and she wrapped his ar- her arms around his neck and returned. The both of them were suddenly so excited to be married. The end. I'm actually kind of proud of the little um, reference I made to the um, um, to the whole um, first episode whenever Mabel gets kidnapped by the gnomes. <laughs> I uh, I had a lot of fun with this episode, with this video, um, in this story. Like I said, I don't really explore AUs very often. It's honestly because I don't think to. A bit of a fault on my part because I typically write too much of the same exact thing. So I think maybe now I could consider writing stories that are much more, um, unique, if you will. Pardon me. Um, but thank you all so very much for watching this video and. Again, I know I keep saying it, but thank you so, so, so much to XX underscore XX Ash because they were the main person who had persuaded me to making this story and it turned out really good in my opinion. Um, I hope that they like it just as much. Um, but anyway, thank you all so very much for watching and I'll be seeing you all very soon. Bye-bye.